My War of the Ring campaign has finally hit the point in campaign progression, or server progression, whatever you want to call it, where the Legends of Gondor chest has unlocked. And for anybody who's been following my streams recently, you'll know that for the past couple of seasons, I have been heavily investing in my Aragorn King of Men. And as it turns out, the Legends of Gondor chest... Uh, he is one of the two tier three commanders that you can get. So hopefully, if I get lucky enough, I can push him to respect 18, or at least super, super close. That way, next time his respect item shows up in the shop, I can have enough vouchers to push him to R18. Which, fun fact before we get into it, you cannot type R18 in chat. Does anybody know why? If you know why, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, let's get into it, and let me know at the end if you think I get lucky or not. All right, for anybody who has not seen this chest before, it contains respect items for King of Men, Isildur, T2 Aragorn, Denethor, Boromir, Faramir, Eowyn, Haldir, and Hirgon. Those are the only respect items that you can get. One of the reasons that these special chests are so nice is because they do have a limited set of commanders allowing you to focus on what you want to focus on rather than like the normal chest which just has completely random stuff. Also, every 10 pulls you get three bonus Aethalus and already on the third pull of five we get a royal banner that is super solid there. Other things that I am looking for while we go through this would be a Warborn Battle Plate, so I can refine the current one that I have. A Cask of Pride I would be happy with as well. Belt of the Citadel. Okay, we have two Bark. That was actually a pretty solid pull if I needed purple items. We got a gold and double purple, and it's a Madness Horseman's Helm. For any newer players in the game, Horseman's Helm with Resolve is extremely good. I think now I have two fully refined ones that I pass between commanders as necessary. Worn Out Smoking Pipe. That's something that you would want to... Since that one was not the sustain one, uh, you, if you're a newer player, you'd want to use that to upgrade a sustain pipe. Speaking of sustain pipes, I think I have three of these fully refined now. It's at least two for sure. Might even be three at this point. So I can probably stop refining sustain pipes. We got a trapper's hood with ranged vigor, another bark of the white tree. Double a bark of the white tree and a golden weapon. That's a pretty solid pull, honestly. Um, too bad the Bow of the High Elves is not a particularly good item. Uh, however, obviously any gold item is good because I can use it to strengthen whatever I want. And unfortunately, maybe I need to test it. So Reckoning says like every fifth round uh, you get to deal a whole bunch of damage. Unfortunately... I don't think that that goes off on round one. Most items in the game actually activate on round one of combat. I don't think that that one does, though. There we go. Banner number two. I forget how many I need. It's more than ten, though. It's a little bit more than ten that I need total. And I'm feeling like, so far, I might not get all ten. Bane of Archers and Concussion. Neither of those are particularly excellent. Have a brutal helm with melee vigor. Very, very solid purple item overall. Probably the best purple helm, like for most damage dealing commanders, maybe all damage dealing commanders. Hunter skin with ranged vigor. That's actually super cool because I've been highly, highly considering uh, investing in Haldir, believe it or not. Now that my King of Men is sort of getting to the point where he's. He's reaching a point of completion. I mean, I still want to keep going. Another Royal Banner, solid. Still want to keep going on him. See see if I can take him to at least like respect 21 plus, I believe. Maybe even like 24. Silver Harp. Gold Accessory, always nice to have. Might Up Elves, this is like the best in slot item for Gilgalad except for the Tooth. Um, actually, technically, with enough plus attack, a fully refined silver harp gives more overall damage than, than a dragon tooth. Fun fact. However, that does require a fully refined harp, whereas the dragon tooth, you just have to strengthen to get to the plus six, and the dragon tooth can come with tactical mark. So, overall, I would say uh, dragon tooth is still the best in slot. 
However, if you don't have access to it and you have a super nice Gilgalad, that is for sure the accessory that I would be looking for. We're adding a bunch of white bark. And the, the universe is really telling me that I should have picked the Sealed Ore instead of King of Men. But I don't believe them. Because I'm pretty sure my King of Men would beat most Sealed Ores. Focus Protection Quilted Armor. Super good item to have in your back pocket if you can eventually fully refine it. And swap it in against commanders like Sauron... Uh, Gandalf the White, depending on his build. Uh, Galadriel, definitely. Galadriel and Sauron being the primary two. Melee Might Cutlass, one of the best purple weapons in the game. That thing serves everybody well, I believe. Just like a Flay Battle Axe is super good too. An Elven Cloak. I think this is the first Elven Cloak I've ever gotten on this account, actually. I'm pretty sure. Of course, it has Resilience of Elves. I would have loved to have seen Resistance Protection on that. Um, potentially even Hazard Training, but I do think Resistance Protection is really what you want to be looking for on your Elven Cloaks. Really solid item overall, though. Another goal. We get a Box of Knowledge. These things, I think, can be good at max refine like they have a nice stat spread on them the 8 8 and then plus h eight, eight might eight focus and plus one hp i don't think all of them are good but i think at max refine you start getting to the point where the 60 percent chance obviously is way more reliable than a 10 percent chance um, removing debuffs is extremely powerful i, th I i'm gonna make have a hot take here real quick that I think Lore of the Arcane Balance is pretty underrated right now. Um, I do think it only applies to the commander, though. So it might not be as underrated as a cleanse on your units. But I do think that cleansing is one of the reasons that Tranquility Helms are so fantastic. I'm actually going to test this to see if it only applies to removing commander debuffs. Because if this applies to removing unit debuffs, or maybe somebody knows in the comments you can let me know, I think this would actually be a super, super solid item. But I'm going to test it out and see now that I have one. This is the first box of knowledge for balance that I've gotten. I think the leader one can be pretty good because as a chance for units to deal max damage and max damage rolls depending on what you're using obviously if you're using like elves not very good um, but if you're using like sharpshooters dunes uh, marshals cavaliers all of those units have a pretty uh, oh, master throwers obviously all of those units have a pretty wide damage range so having max damage rolls is a big boost to overall damage output. And a Flay Axe. I'm getting a bunch of Flay Axes now, by the way. For people that have followed the content in the past, they know that I struggled for so long to get a Flay Axe. And now that I've finally gotten one, the game is just kind of passing them out to me. Uh, funnily enough. Hobbit Fiddle with Haste of Soldiers. Total Pather item for whales. For most people, double gold on this? Ooh, an Elven White Knife. Maybe the universe is for real telling me on the last pull too, we get a royal banner and an EWK. Unfortunately, it's eye for an eye. If this had been something like Might of Elves, I would think that the universe was in fact telling me that I should be pushing for Haldir. Uh, although... Yeah, that's probably, that's got to be the best item for Haldir. I was going to say something like a Noldor, because then it can affect your sharpshooters and your sentinels. Um, but, no, no, no. EWK, the plus 6, and then also the plus 12% is just way too good. Definitely, um, definitely a super solid item for all of you elf lovers out there. So how many banners did I get? That is the ultimate question. Over here, I got 7, which is not going to be nearly enough. I got 13 for a sealed ore. I'm going to be sad if the math works out. So if I had gotten 6 more, that would be 1,800 more. That would be... I would be just shy. That would put me at like 10,230 if my quick math is correct. Either way, next time his item shows up in the exchange, I'll be able to gain plus 3,000 respect because plus 10 items... And that'll push me to respect 18. So now the waiting game continues. Hopefully it'll show up soon. Let me know what you guys think about my luck in the comments. And thank you for watching.